President Meyer has ended her 10-day world tour with that front as well. From the White House of Surgeon. All right, guys. Dr. Michael Jones. Our skin elasticity decreases. We have women that come from all over the world. Dr. Oh, wow. Jones, what is different about your procedure? We believe that that's really the secret. So what you got? It will get people talking. <laughs> all right, I love you. It's beautiful. It just feels a little compact to me. I think that on a vacation spot, we'd want to have a little bit more room. Wow, this is too small for them? I definitely have bigger. We are the Joneses. I'm trying to make somebody a little more beautiful. That was sweet. This was wrong. This is going to be on television. Forget about the budget. It's not about the budget. It's about the concept. It's about the art. Of it. It's about getting the right product. It has nothing to do about money. Getting ready to open up our new office so that we can take over Miami. Miami, here we come. I was very depressed to see the state of affairs. Don't fall in a hole. We have five foot holes in the ground, let alone an operating table sitting there. We have nothing. really happening with butts in America. I'm here with Dr. Michael Jones is here. He's a plastic surgeon, one of the busiest practices for butt enhancements in the country. So we're seeing it permeate through our culture. Hollywood is definitely glorifying this look. I've always wanted to have a nice round butt. You know, the butt you could twerk with. <laughs> I want to twerk. You want to twerk? Mom, you okay with me on this? <laughs> I feel <so> for <laughs> Oh no, I look so square. My <laughs> daughter's 25 years old and she's got a very nice butt. So I said, this is the butt I want. Well, you come to the right place because we do an awful lot of butts. Okay. Hopefully everything goes okay and I look like J-Lo. When people come in and say, I want to have a backside like ex-celebrity, I mean, that's specific. The vast majority come in saying, I want a certain shape. I want a apple bottom shape. I want a heart shape. Maybe we need to hold the masses or a contest to see what people want in a nicely shaped derriere. Hi. Hello, ladies. Yeah, I would say that she has a, a bubble. A bubble? What do you think? I would have said apple, but I, I think, what do I know? I had to remember his name because he's so gorgeous. It was hard to even look at him in the beginning. Yeah, tell him what you say behind his back. Oh, it's gorgeous. Gracias, yes, mi amor. Okay. <laughs> I had no idea that women would want to come into the office just to meet him. It's like he's a rock star. And I saw your picture. And I was like, wow, he's handsome. <laughs> Dr. Jones had that look. He is good on the eye. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> good morning. Good morning. I'm very happy that everything turned out well. Oh, yeah, it's a big difference. Big difference. Big, big difference. I finally see the person that I've always envisioned. Wow, well that looks wonderful. For me personally, it's going to give me a new look, outlook in life. That <laughs> looks better than better. Oh my Jesus, exactly what I dream. Dr. Lee did a great job at feminizing Caitlyn Jenner's face. Here you have a couple of great cases coming up here. One is AD. She's a transgender woman who had um, botched silicone. I looked in the mirror and I saw myself for the first time again. From my heart to yours. You have a friend now. Thank you right? so much. I've been dealing with keloids like the past 20 plus years or so. And I know that you have some good news to share. I want to donate my surgical services to remove all of your facial features. Because he has 20 years of experience, I already knew that he was the one. Thank you, thank you so much. You're very good.
The food's almost ready, Daddy said. Basketball, I'm so confused. <laughs> Daddy's cheating. No phones. What do you mean? But what happens when the patients call? You are not on call. I'm always on call. You're a plastic surgeon. What's the medical emergency? Is that you? Do you know I've never seen a baby picture of myself? I still don't know who my mother is, but they at least sent me some information about my adoption. Do you know what this is? The hospital band. For her to see a memento from her birth, that was heart-wrenching. It's, uh, that's wonderful, baby. I know that we definitely want to support. It just puts, like, a realness to the fact that I do belong. You belong to us. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> Appreciate you. I might actually meet the woman who brought me into this world.